Anything good in the paper? A lot of talk about the refugees. Oh, have they figured out where to put them yet? I mean, at this rate, they'll be asking us to take them into our own homes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> May I see you in the kitchen, please, Sammy? <laughs> Who is that? That's Hamasa. Who is Hamasa? He's our asylum seeker. What? We've been selected as part of the government's suburban solution. <laughs> please explain. Following the demise of the Pacific solution, uh -huh. the collapse of the Malaysian solution, mm. and the sheer impracticality of the Jupiter solution, <laughs> the government are using taxpayers' houses as temporary detention centres. But, Sammy, we don't have room. We've got a self-contained bungalow in the backyard that we've never set foot in. Oh, well, yeah, there's the bungalow, but we might need it one day. <laughs> Randy, he won't be here for long, only until he's cleared. Well, how long does that take? Between three weeks and a decade. <laughs> Sammy, we don't even know him. Well, he's been a very good guest so far. He's neat, he's polite, and he's even taken the bins out. That's my job. What? He's trying to take my job! <laughs> Randy, you've never taken the bins out. I was working up to it. <sighs> He'll fit in fine. Well, what are we going to feed him? Nothing. He's on a hunger strike. Why? <laughs> he's unhappy with the conditions. What conditions? The conditions of the bathroom. There are purple pubes everywhere. <laughs> they could be anyone. <laughs> Pretty sure they're yours. Oh, well, how would he know? He's got a PhD in genetic science. So do I. No, you don't. No, I don't. I definitely don't. <laughs> Brandy, Hamasa is a highly qualified surgeon who has fled a war-torn country in the hope of a better life. And the least we can do is welcome him into our normal, stable, peace-loving Australian family. OK, OK. I'll take him to the footy. <laughs> he doesn't even like football. If you'd spent more time with him, you'd know that. I spend time with Mufasa. Hamasa. Hamasa. <laughs> you haven't said one word to him. Oh, fine. Hey, Havana. <laughs> See, every time I try to talk to him, he shuts down. And I wonder where he gets that from. Oh, here we go. Little Miss Perfect and her flawless parenting skills. What? Oh, you're always in his ear telling him what a screw-up his old man is. Where were you when I was slaving away in the mines? I should have listened to my mother when she told me not to marry you. Oh, I was never good enough for your parents. You were never good enough for me! <laughs> so the truth comes out. Come on, Hermione, we're leaving. Don't you touch him! He's my son! Come on, Amasa, come with Mummy. You've got the freaking house! You're gonna take my boy too! Don't you scream in front of my baby! I'll oh, scream as loud as I want! Go back to your slut in Kalgoorlie! Well, she's twice the woman you'll ever be! Oh. <laughs> Look, refugees have given nothing to this country. Now, I'm off to the deli for a cafe latte, a couple of spring rolls and a spanakopita. And then when I get back, when I get back, he better be gone! Ciao. <laughs> Sorry about my friend. I can't trust the purple ones. 